Hey guys, so I just came across a really annoying glitch for iOS 12 and basically I used the built-in screen recorder to record a video but the audio does not pick up once you upload it to YouTube or a similar social media platform. So fortunately guys there is a quick fix for it and I'll explain that real quick. Now to show you guys an example of it. So this was the original video I filmed. Hey everyone. So the coolest new feature for iOS 12 is this new measure app. Now you guys see we do have the audio for it, so everything is good. But the problem is once I uploaded it to YouTube, it had no audio for it. Now the reason for this is Apple uses two audio tracks. So one is whatever is playing on the iPhone at the time. So for example, if you're playing a game, then uh, you'll hear the, uh, the game soundtrack or whatever. And then the second audio track is the mic. So the mic does not get picked up once you upload to YouTube. Now in terms of fixing this, you can download some software like Splice, but personally, I would not recommend that. Uh, there is a much simpler solution. So all you do guys is you open up your Photos app and just open up the original video file. Just make sure at the beginning of the clip as well. So, so yeah, just make sure it's starting from the beginning. Now all you do is you open up the screen recorder, hold down on the button. Yeah, try it again. And make sure the mic is turned off. And then all you do guys is uh, you press the record button and press play here. Hey everyone. So the coolest new feature Okay, so right now we're re-recording the original video. Right here in the bottom right. And this is basically an AR 3D ruler. So you guys Now when you do this guys, you don't want to go like now, this. Do not go like this because then it'll be like that. Also, do not touch the volume. The volume won't affect it, guys. It doesn't matter if it's on 0 or 100%. If you press volume, then this notification will appear for your re-recording. So you don't want that, of course. And don't even press on it, because then this will be brought up, top and the bottom. So basically, guys, you do absolutely nothing for the full duration of the video. And I'm just going to fast forward through it, just to show you guys the ending. Okay, in a few seconds here. Yeah, you can also press in the bottom right to take a photo. <laughs> Just if you need proof for something. But yeah, guys, that aside, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about it. Okay, so I just press right there to end it. Just press on the power button. So now that whole clip was saved to the phone. Now, guys, this clip it is suitable for YouTube, for Facebook, wherever you want to upload it. And let's just take a look at that. Hey everyone. So the coolest new feature for iOS 12 is this new measure app. Right here in the bottom right. And now if you guys want to see the actual quality on this, I will put a link in the top right. Because I did upload the same video yesterday. So you guys, I know this is still annoying. It's not a great solution, but I do think it's the best one. But that aside, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about it.